हेलो देयर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट 2017 एग्जाम इट्स फ्रॉम सेट टू एंड इज फॉर टू मार्क्स लेट मी रीड आउट द स्टेटमेंट फॉर यू कंसिडर टू वे सेट एसोसिएटिव कैश विद 256 ब्लॉक्स एंड यूजेस एलआरयू रिप्लेसमेंट इनिशियली द कैश इज एम्प्टी कॉन्फ्लिक्ट मिसेस आर दोज मिसेस व्हिच अकर ड्यू टू द कंटेंशन ऑफ मल्टीपल ब्लॉक्स for the same cash set compulsory misses occurred due to the first time access to the block the following sequence of accesses to memory blocks is repeated 10 times the number of conflict misses experienced by the cash is dash you can have a look at this series of addresses generated by cpu okay so they are defining these two terms in the question compulsory miss and a conflict miss compulsory miss happens when some block is referred for the first time for example in the sequence you can see block number 0 block number 128 block number 256 they are referred for the first time here certainly there is no chance you will find them in cache so the, these three three of these uh, references will be a miss because they are referred for the first time no so these misses are termed as compulsory miss then they are defining something called a conflict miss now say you are referring this 128 for third time here okay but suppose the cache didn't have enough space all the cache lines were filled and that's the reason you have to delete one of the mm, blocks from the cache or maybe you have to replace one of the blocks from cache now you didn't find this one in cache say you didn't find just assume that such a miss will be termed as conflict miss because it was brought into cache once so it cannot be a compulsory miss but because it was deleted or replaced due to lack of space in cache that's why it will be termed as conflict miss they are using this word conflict misses are those misses which occur due to the contention of multiple blocks contention means like debate or a contest or some struggle okay so all of these blocks they are in a contest with each other to find some space in cache or you can say there's a competition between all the blocks to get some space and whenever the cache gets filled you will delete or replace one of the block if it's referred again you will term that miss as a conflict miss now this is the sequence of block numbers that are generated by cpu also the sequence is repeated 10 times then they are giving you this information about the cache used there are 256 blocks in cache and it's a two way set associative cache now see two way set associative means each set will contain two blocks or two cache lines in total we have 256 cache lines how many sets are going to be there 256 divided by 2 because each set contains two cache blocks so we have 128 cache blocks that's 256 divided by 2 these are the 128 cache blocks sorry number of sets the total number of sets will be 128 look total number of blocks divided by blocks per set we'll get the total number of sets in cache so they go from set number 0 to set number 127 in total there are 128 sets okay next thing is whenever some cache block is accessed where will we place this block in the cache the formula is say address number x is referred the formula is x mod 128 because in total we have 128 sets okay so multiple 
blocks can be mapped into these 128 sets. What I'm trying to say is more than 128 blocks have to be mapped onto 128 sets. That's the reason we use this in repetition. Look, block number zero will go here. Block number one will go here. Two will go here until 127. Block number 127 will go here. 128th block will again start from here. Okay, so this keeps on happening. And that's how we got this mod. Okay, now let's start this question. See, 0, 128, They are accessed for the first time here. So these three will be a miss, surely that to conflict miss. Sorry, compulsory miss. Okay, here also we have a compulsory miss. Here also we have a compulsory miss. Okay, these three are misses. Now they have to be brought into the cache. Let's see where they are going to be placed. Block number zero will be placed in set number zero. Set number zero has two lines. How? How can I say each set has two lines? Because it's a two-way set associative cache. Okay, so these two lines, they belong to set number zero. These two lines, they belong to set number one and so on until set number 128. Sorry, 127. First reference is to block number 0. It will be placed in set number 0 because 0 mod 128 is 0. Next reference is to block number 128. This one will also get mapped to set number 0 only. So we have to place it somewhere in set number 0. Let's place it here because we have one cache line empty. Now this block number 120, sorry, 256 is referred. This also gets mapped onto set zero because 256 mod 128 is zero. That means set number zero. So it has to be placed in this set, but both of the lines, cache lines are filled. So where are you going to place this one? Obviously one of these two will get replaced. And in question, they have clearly mentioned LRU page replacement policy is used. Least recently used will be uh, replaced. You can see 120 is used recently. So least recently used here is uh, block number zero. That means you are going to replace this block number zero by block 256. Okay. Then 128 is accessed. 128 is found in cache. This one will be a hit. Okay. Again, you access block number zero. Now, out of these two, one have to be replaced to accommodate this block, block number zero. Which one are you going to replace? 256 or 128? Certainly, it will be 256 because 128 is accessed recently and we want to replace the least recently accessed or least recently used. So zero will be placed here by deleting 256. And this one was a miss. So again, 128 is accessed, it's found in cache. Now you want block number 256. This one will be missed because in cache, currently we have zero and 128 only. To bring this one into cache, you will place it here like this. Okay, now again, you are accessing 128 and it will be a hit. Okay, now let's see what will happen when one is accessed. First thing is it's accessed for the first time. Okay, so this one will be a compulsory miss. CM for compulsory miss. CM for compulsory miss. This to compulsory miss. Look. 1, 129 and 257 haven't been accessed before this point of time. So all of these will be a miss and that to a compulsory one. Where are these going to be placed? 1 is going to go in the set number 1 because 1 mod 128 is 1. Set number 1 is this. Let's place 1 here. Then 129 also goes to the set number 1 because 129 mod 128 is 1. Okay, so 129 goes here. 
Then we have 257. 257 also maps to set number 1. Now, the set number 1 is filled entirely. That means one cache block will be replaced. So let's replace this one because it's least recently used. And place 257 here. Look, least recently used from this point of time is 1. Okay. So replace it. Now, next one is going to be a hit because 129 is present in the cache. Next one is going to be a miss because 1 is not present in the cache. In cache, now we have 257, 129, 256 and 128. And anyways, you don't even need to worry about these two because they are in a different set. Okay, so we will replace this one 257 and update it with this block. Okay, next one is 129 which is going to be a hit because it's there in the cache. This one is going to be a miss and this one will again be a hit. Okay, so we'll update it with 257 again. Now, when this first iteration of these excesses is completed, at the end of this iteration, just see what all is present in the cache memory. We have block number 256. This is 256. Let me write it here. Block number 128. These two blocks are present in the set 0 of cache. Okay. In uh, set 1, we have block number 129 and 257. Okay, I am writing 257 here. So, this is the current scenario after completing first iteration. Just remember it. 256 and 128. 257 and 129. Okay. Now, let's try this second iteration. This block 0 is not present in cache. So, we will experience a miss here. Okay, this one is a miss. Where are we going to place block 0? You see, 128 is the recently accessed one out of these two 128 is recently accessed one before this we accessed 256 so this one is going to be uh, replaced because this is least recently accessed one and this is recently accessed one so this one update uh, gets updated to zero and we move to the next uh, requirement it's 128 this one is found in the cache so this is miss Again, we require 256. So 256 will be placed here. Okay. Then 128 is a hit. Again, we require 0. 0 will be placed here. Okay. Now we require 128. This one will be a hit. Now you again require 256. 256 will be placed here. Okay. Then 128 will be a hit again because it's present in the cache. Okay. Now they're referring to set number one, sorry, to block number one. One is not there in cache. Okay. So this one will going to be a miss. Then we require 129. 129 is there in cache. So it is hit. Also, this will be brought into the cache and will be placed in place of 257. How? How do you decide which one will be updated to 1? Out of 257 and 129, where do I place this one? Look, from this point of time, go back and see the least recently used block. From here, if you go back, these are the excesses. Okay. In all these excesses, there is no reference to 257 or 129. So go even further back in time. That means here we got 129. So 129 is a recently used one. 
this one will not be updated because we'll update the least recently used one least recently used one obviously will be 257 so now now i'm just doing it quickly i hope you've understood it So this is the scenario at end of second iteration. Now you see, we started with 256, 128, 257, 129. And we ended with 256, 128, 257, 129. That means after performing this entire iteration, the starting and initial, uh, initial and final condition of the cache is same, which also means for the third iteration also, this entire sequence of hit it and hit is this entire sequence of hits and misses will be repeated. So can I say miss, hit, miss, hit, miss and so on. Okay. That means this sequence will be repeated 10 times. Now let's just calculate our answer. We are required to find number of conflict misses. So for the first iteration, we have one conflict miss here. 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 Here and here. So in the first iteration, we have four conflict misses. Let me write it. First. first iteration there are four conflict misses don't count these misses because they are compulsory miss we are required only to find out conflict misses in second to tenth iteration we have one two three four 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 misses per iteration. That means in 9 iterations, we will be having 9 into 8 misses. Okay. So total is 9 8s are 72 plus 4, 76. So the answer to this question is 76 misses in total. Okay. One more thing, after the first iteration, you can never experience a compulsory miss because in first iteration, each and every block is accessed for the first time. That's it. After this, we cannot experience any compulsory miss. And answer to this question comes out to be 76, which is 4 plus 72. Okay.